Welcome back everybody. This video we're going to be talking how to search for a particular element inside of an array. Now it's actually pretty easy because there's methods that exist that will pretty much do this for us, but we're also going to show you guys how to do it manually using a for loop. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys are excited. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so here's some code we have from the previous video. We get the size of an array from user input and create an array, and then we fill it from user input, and then lastly, we output the array. Although this is nice, it's kind of distracting if we want to just focus on searching an array. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of the user inputs and I'm just going to make the array manually right here. So we'll just put some values in here. So we no longer need to get those values from user input. So all we're doing is we're creating the array and then outputting the array to the screen. So we're going to search for a particular value inside of grades. So we're actually going to use this for loop but we're not going to output. So I'm just going to get rid of the inside there. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to do an if condition and say if grades index i is equal to, and then whatever we're looking for can be put right here. So for example, we're looking for the value 40, which currently does not exist there. If we find it, here's what we wanna do. We'll just write line and say we found it. Awesome. So let's run it and see what happens. We run it, nothing outputs, which is actually correct because we actually did not find that value. So what you could do is you could put an else like so. So when we run this, we're actually getting not found like four times, which is actually not quite what we want. We probably just want it to say once. So if we wanna do that, we need to put that outside of this loop. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to create a flag. We'll just say bool found, we'll set it to false. If it's found, we'll set found equal to true and break. There's a good use of the break. It's going to get out of this loop because we're not gonna to need to search for it after we already found it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this console right line, cut that and paste it on the outside of the for loop. And we don't just wanna output it every time, so we'll do a condition. We'll say if found, prefix it with an exclamation mark to say if not found, then it would be appropriate to do this console right line. All right, hopefully that's right. Let's give it a run, make sure it works. Awesome, and we get one not found. Now let's give it another try with, let's say, 23, which is actually in the array. So we'll run it now, and we found it. So this could be extracted into its own method, which would be nice, and maybe you could return the index. Well, there's actually something very similar to that that already exists. So let's go through that. Let's get rid of all this code we just wrote because we actually didn't need to do any of that. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say array with a capital A dot index and uh, you can see all kinds of different versions. The one I'm gonna be looking for is index of. What are we gonna pass in here? We'll just pass in 23. And you can see the two arguments is you need the array and then the value you're looking for. So the array we're going to be searching in is called grades. So the entire call will look something like this. We can output it. There we go. Dot net run. And you can see we get the value two, which is index zero, one, two, which is correct, awesome. Now what happens if we put something that's not in there? You can see we actually get the value negative one. All right guys, so that's some experience with searching an array. Hopefully that was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because in the next video, I think we're gonna be talking about sorting an array, but we'll see. So see you guys in the next one.